Hi again. Today I want to discuss protecting ourselves with unconditional love. Now this kind of goes against everything that we think that unconditional love is about. Protecting ourselves seems to be selfish. Um, we kind of get stuck because we're thinking, well, I'm being selfish here. I'm not actually giving unconditionally. I'm self-protecting and that's not love. But um, we need to start sort of re-looking at the way we see things. And it is possible to protect yourself whilst offering unconditional love as well as looking after yourself. Unconditional love doesn't mean that you set no boundaries in terms of respect for yourself and protecting your own well-being. Unconditional love must be first and foremost for yourself. This is why we say that you can't love others if you don't first love yourself. And many times, many of us, me included, have uh, made the error of believing that unconditional love means letting someone do harm to you over and over again and forgiving them over and over again. Yet, when you do this, you're not loving yourself unconditionally. When you find yourself mistaken about someone, it means you must judge them and let them out of your circle. Now, when I say a circle, I like to use a protective bubble. And it's possible to do this with less judgment. Where you let them into your energy space in the first place, you have actually put yourself in a position of lack of love for yourself. And therefore, then you have to use judgment. You have to use ego in this ego space. All these things that you don't really want to be doing when you're wanting to do this spiritually enlightened work. Um, because you've actually let that person in in the first place, you've allowed them to behave in certain ways in your inner space, you then have to then make some judgments, which you don't really want to have to do. So the best thing to do is, in the beginning, love yourself first, so that you're not allowing people to come into that energy space until they've earned that place in your space. So in so doing, you must take some responsibility for having to step beyond what you've deemed to be unconditional love. Understand and take on board that your judgment has come after after that you've let them in. You are responsible for your space and for failing to love you first. If you fail to take responsibility for the lack of unconditional love for yourself, you then further allow yourself to become the victim. You allow ego into your space rather than let it go with the one that you've let in. So the answer is always love yourself first unconditionally and be quick to forgive yourself first without condition. Then you will heal faster than allowing victimhood into your energy space. Remember that you are in charge of your life, not anybody else's. You did allow someone to enter your space. You did allow what happened to you happen. And when you let this being inside of your boundaries, you gave them permission to, for them to be there. So... It's your love for you that you must then build this energy space and decide who should be there and who shouldn't. And this is where those who say that we should love unconditionally fall down. They say, but this is prejudgment. Who I should let in and who I should not, that's not unconditional love. But discernment of others based upon placing your welfare first and loving you unconditionally first is not the same as judging others for what they have done after you've let them in. It determines who will respect you and who will not before you let them in. And again, it's about loving you first. So if you have at any time in your lifetime found yourself hurt because of how you have been treated. First look in the mirror. 
Now it's time for you to heal from those situations where you've allowed those who have disrespected you in and judge yourself only for this. And in this, you are loving unconditionally. You see, it's about judging you, not judging them. It's okay to decide who to let in and who to keep outside of your energy space. Every relationship in my life lately has been uh, an experiment of the idea of unconditional love and freedom. Unconditional love is not about giving people permission to break your heart. Ego likes to put up massive walls that won't let anybody love you. But this is not unconditional love of self. You'll then become incapable of giving and receiving love. I spent years learning how to love without conditions and it's been the hardest thing ever. Made harder because I've forgotten to love myself unconditionally first. I've put people first before I've put people's feelings first. And if I allow myself to love myself unconditionally, I let in those who want to love me unconditionally. The moment they stop loving, they must go outside of my energy space. This does not mean blocking them from my life completely because I understand that I learn from these people probably more than I can learn from anybody else. They are the reflections of me and they are here for me to learn from. But loving me unconditionally while setting appropriate boundaries has to come first. I now realise that unconditional love means you live in a state of acceptance and appreciation and gratitude for this person you love. Expect nothing and are willing to live from the heart it also means you have zero tolerance for your own victim story. You are the director of your movie. You are your own part in everything, rather than blaming, shaming and judging someone else. Unconditional love means you resist grasping or clinging or projecting onto someone else. You don't require that they abide by any rules in order to earn your love. Love is a gift like a grace. You give it freely just because. But access to your inner circle is completely conditional. If someone can't treat you with the love and nurturing respect you deserve, you put them in your outer circle or eliminate them from your circle altogether with a wide open heart with no judgment. In other words, they need to have earned your trust. That way, if anyone isn't treating you with impeccable respect, you simply limit access without making up a story about it. No point in becoming the exploding doormat. It's not enlightened to be that either. Your heart stays wide open. The boundaries close up though and you don't let them into your room, into your home. Unconditional love is about absolute freedom with conditional access when they earn your trust. You let those boundaries down. And if they do need to say terrible things about you, hurt you with words, if you've built this bubble, just think of it as a reflection, it's a mirror. And everything that's been said and done is just bouncing off that mirror, straight back at them. It's not yours, it belongs to them. And it's for them to work at and look at themselves and what they're saying and what they're doing before they can start changing, and before they can start re-earning your trust again. It's not someone else's job to treat you right. It's your job to treat you right. It's your job to make these appropriate boundaries that limit access based on whether or not someone is deserving or complete of this complete inner circle access. Be vigilant about protecting your energy. Since it's all connected when we all go down, others go down with us. And so you're doing a service to the world when you're looking after yourself. Because when you're happy, everybody around you feels happy. Ask yourself, am I treating myself right? 
Am I loving myself unconditionally first? You are the first port of call to world peace, each and every one of you. Love yourself first unconditionally and the rest will fall into alignment with you. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye for now. Namaste.